this piece is by William Hamill, who is currently doing his NC Art and Design at Forth Valley College in Stirling. Um, he's inspired by sci-fi films and video games, and he enjoys drawing familiar places with a twist. He's used ink on paper and named this Castle Guardian. His second piece is called Bridge Serpent. Um, this piece is also inspired by video games, specifically end of level bosses, where they block your progress and you have to defeat them further in their story. Both of William's pieces, he's used dot work in both of his pieces. Um, this is also ink on paper. Here we have other student Bruce Lithgow with his two pieces. The first one is called Send Them Home to Think Again. It's inspired by many battles in Scottish history, and in particular, the Battle of Bannockburn. The media he has used is watercolour slash pastel on paper, and he completed it in March. His next piece was called Event Arising, and it's inspired by fantasy art of Michael Oswald and Tatiana Plokova. It is pencil slash wash on paper, and it was also completed in March. We move on to Billy Davers, whose first piece is called The Spirit of the Lion. His inspiration for this piece came from the lion's den in the castle where a lion gifted from King of Denmark once resided. He's used inks on he's used acrylics and ink on card and this was completed in December of last year. His second piece, Robert the Bruce, um, was painted from a picture taken when he was visiting the statue in Bannockburn at Bannockburn Heritage Centre. It stands proud against the sky. He has used oil on canvas and completed it in February of this year. Billy's third piece, Dominance. His inspiration for this piece came from a walk in the Queen's Garden where he wondered what people must have thought when they came to this gate with all the colours and all the domini dominating structures. He has used watercolours on card and completed, his, completed this piece on, in January of this year. Billy's fourth piece is called The Wolf at the Gate. His inspiration came from the castle's long history and over the years the castle has fell into enemy hand, enemy's hands several times and been returned to Scotland. He's used acrylics and ink on card and this was completed in November last year. Her next piece is labelled Stirling Castle and she used textiles for this. She said that she was introduced to textiles in her first block at college and she really enjoyed seeing the stories that artists could tell with the media that they used. And this was created in March 2016. Her next piece is also labelled Stirling Castle and it is pen and ink. She had said that she had experimented with pen and ink techniques in her first block at college also, and she liked the simple look it gave and decided that it would work well for her piece. This was created in December 2015. Her next piece, also labelled Stirling Castle, is Dry Point. She also said she was introduced to dry point techniques in her, in her first block at college too. She, she enjoyed this process and implemented it for her project. This was created in December 2015. Her next piece, which is labelled Sterling Castle, is a photograph that she took. She took this photograph while she was researching for the project and she thought it captured the castle at an unusual angle. This was also created in December 2015. Reflection by Avril Semple. Um, she's used watercolour pencil and it's been completed in January 2016. Her, in her inspiration for this piece is from a reflection, a reflective nature from work past to present. By looking back on her older mediums of work, she's been able to do better to comprehend her own style and what fantasy means to her now. Avril's second piece is called The Roof of Our Country. She's used acrylics on slate. She's used slate as it's her inspiration from what makes her country strong. This was also completed in February 2016. Avril's third piece is called Angel Eyes. It's a pencil drawing. Her inspiration for this piece was drawn from her own personal experiences throughout her life. This piece symbolises the ideology that even the most angelic of people can have a dark side to them and that no one is perfect. She's completed this in December of 2015. Our next piece of work is by Jake Thompson and his first piece is um, Our next piece is by Jake Thompson and it is labelled Child's Play. His inspiration for this piece is from Styling Castle. It was a piece in Styling Castle that really caught his eye 
so he decided to recreate it in honour of Stirling Castle and for the exhibition. It is oil, pastel, on cartridge, and he created it in February 2016. Then at his next piece is labelled Future. He said that future is based on what this exhibition means for him and his future. The night sky represents his future and what he has ahead of himself, and the silhouette of Stirling Castle represents the present and all the space he has to learn and grow. He spray painted this onto canvas and he created it in 2016 in February. His final piece is labelled Cry Me A River. Cry Me A River is a personal piece following the exhibition's theme of fantasy. It is about his emotion, emotions and wearing them on his sleeve along with the weird thoughts that go in one's head. This is pen and wax on card and it was created in February 2016. Scott Malcolm, The Lonely Wolf. It's inspired by his favourite animal, the wolf, and the way the sky looks at night. He's used ink on card and this was completed in February 2016. His second piece, The Castle and the Stars, is inspired by seeing a glow of the crescent moon behind the castle. He's also used ink on card and it was also completed in February 2016. Next we have Holly Dowbury. Her first piece is The Lady on the Castle Wall. She was inspired when she went to take photos at the castle. She said that the statue was different and interesting. She really liked the texture created in the garments and the, the weathered look it had gotten through the years. She used acrylic on canvas for this and created it in December 2015. Her next piece is The Unicorn in Purple. This piece was inspired by Stirling Castle and the hunt for the unicorn. I like, she likes the mystery that surrounds the idea of the unicorn and the nobility and purity that it symbolises. This again was on acrylic on canvas and it was completed in 2015 in December. Hannah Allen in Another Galaxy. She got this idea from something that she was working on in class whilst using spray paint and stencils. She liked the crisp finish the stencil has in an image and the almost messy look it gives around the edges. She used acrylics and spray paint on paper. Her second piece, The Castle in Space, she's used oil pastels and pencil on paper. She got the idea for this piece when she was out she was out at night and seen the castle lit up, almost like a spaceship with the night skies behind it. This was completed in February 2016. Our final student in this exhibition is Olivia Lopez. Her first piece is called Close Up of Stirling Castle. The infra- the inspiration for this piece comes from a picture she took of Stirling Castle. She really likes using pointillism in her work, so she used this for the finer, de- finer details. She's, this was pen on paper and it was made February 2016. Her next piece is labelled Four Piece Space Symbolism. The inspiration for this piece was her favourite symbols that represent space. Again, she has used pointillism in her work and it is her favourite technique to work with. This is pen on paper again and it was made in February 2016.